What's up, everybody? It's Brooklyn Prepper. The state of prepping. Where are preppers and where they go and are they coming back? Oh, here we go. It's a showdown between Gemini's. Someone's going down, but it ain't gonna be me. All right, guys. You know, I'm making this video and everything because uh, I was curious to see how everybody else felt out there and your mindset and everything. I made tons of videos, not tons of videos, a couple of videos of, you know, my opinion on the whole doomsday prepper type of prepping and all that stuff with all that nonsense of crawling into holes and shooting at your neighbors and putting sniper pits up and everything else, right? You know how I feel about all that. I think it's nonsense. I think it's kind of silly. All right, but the main thing about this video is uh, what do you guys think about the state of prepping? You know, I've been on YouTube for, I don't know, it's going to go on three years or maybe even four. I don't even, I lost count. Yeah, about three years it's going to go on, right? Uh, and I've seen the state of prepping change, you know, in the last, uh, I would say, since that Doomsday Prepper stuff all came out, right? And I remember when I first started the channel, you were able to go on, there was a lot of people sharing their information and making videos of normal good stuff, you know? Right? So I enjoyed it. That's why I jumped on board with all this uh, prepping stuff, right? Share my knowledge a little bit, whatever little I have in this brain of mine, right? Just see maybe it can help somebody out. But anyway... Right, but what I feel what's going on now, I think all that doom and gloom stuff has has vanished. Not vanished completely, it's still out there, there's still some of this nonsense going on. But I believe we came full circle now. You know, I think uh, the doomsday prepper is dead and, and all the, the fear monger and everything. There's still a lot of fear mongering out there anyway. There's always going to be fear mongering because, you know, our government teaches us well to do that, you know, the government scares the hell out of you, all this stuff, and then you got preppers scaring the hell out of you, you know, it's a, it's amazing that we're not all walking around on Xanax, but anyway, there's like, I think 70% of the population is on Xanax already, right, and, uh, and I was reading an article the other day, and it was pretty alarming because preppers have really tapered down, it's like, before Doomsday Prepper and all that, with a show that was supposed to make prepper mainstream actually pretty much destroyed it a little bit for some time not destroyed it put it to sleep right uh, because of the lunacy and everything and people felt silly so I think the preppers all went back into the closet and by what happened with that was they did a survey and like a lot of people that were prepping sort of tape it tape it off it, it, it you know uh, and and the false information about things are getting better and the banks are getting better and you know the economy's getting better all those sniblets of lies and stuff people started pulling back hey maybe i don't have to prep but no guess what you still have to prep because uh prep is not really about you know major disasters and economic collapse it is about that but the main reason for prepping is it's a lifestyle and it's and it's insurance for your family for even little things storms rains power outages you know just the mother nature within itself is is our biggest enemy really you know not our enemy mother nature is good you know the you know and everything but it's our enemy because it's so beautiful and at the same time brutal right so we have to be be prepared for stuff like that so you, your, your family and everybody else could be safe in your own home that's what prepping is about it's not about you know the zombie apocalypse and and you and, and gangs of, of of marauders with motorcycles coming into your town and shooting it up and you know you gotta be prepared for that you know that's what made prepping start looking silly with all this fantasy movie like stuff going on right but i believe that's sort of going away because it can't live forever like fear can't fester forever it's got to pop somewhere right but what i've been seeing it and i would what i like to see is all those guys that used to make videos and you can see it on youtube a lot of them tape it down a lot of them don't make videos no more because they don't want to be on the same page as it, with all the idiots, right? But 
rest assured, it's going away. And I believe the, those preppers that were putting out all this good information and making these really cool videos, come back out. We could come back out of the closet now. I think the dust is clearing. And I think we all knew this was going to be a short-lived thing with all this doomsday nonsense and doom and gloom stuff. Right? So I don't even know what point. I'm, what point I'm trying to make is I'm feeling better about the whole prepper movement again. Right? And I would like to see even all my buddies out there, and you all know who you are, that was holding back. Holding back because we, I don't know, we sort of got in this sort of a... Uh, this depressed state of mind because we felt like the thing we really loved doing and the information we really loved sharing was being bombarded by by stupidity you know it was like a, a plane flying over and dropping stupid bombs on all over the place and we were out dodging it and we had to go for shelter but it's time to come out of the shelter again and start teaching again, right? Start getting back into that good old homestead and by food preserving and and little ideas of uh, uh, how to how to save water and stuff. All those little things that the important things of prepping need to come back out again. Because I think you know all this stuff about the world is going in a good direction now is all fabricated anyway right I think and and the weather has been like getting really crazy and everything. I think more than any time. Right in the last few years, this is really we need people to start bringing prepper and back into a good light again because you know what, all that stupid stuff is I think fading away, you know. And I knew it couldn't last, right? Even myself, I, I felt myself not doing videos and prepping stuff, right? I just been having a good time lately because I've been waiting for the dust to settle, right? Because Believe it or not, nobody was listening, right? You know, they, they were all memorized or, or, or fixated on this doom and gloom and bunkers and guns and shooting and guys blowing their hands off on TV, right? It was this good TV for a while, but now it's dead. I think, I think a big, big population are missing us guys. So, you know, my little plea to you guys out there, Start coming out with your good stuff again. Start showing your gardening videos and your food preserving and, and everything like that. This is round two for us, guys. So, uh, you know, being a prepper, you know, I feel sometimes I feel obligated that I got to put out some stuff. Even if I have to start all over again because there's a lot of people out there, they find your channel and I don't know, I think it's laziness or I don't know what it is. They don't look back at your older videos. They always tend to just go for the new videos. You might have to just start redoing some of your stuff, you know, again, and showing it again. Let's bang it into people's minds again that being prepared is a cool thing. It's a fun thing to do. It's something that you could sleep easy at night knowing that your family is, is going to be safe. Even if there was an economical collapse, right, you could feed your family for at least a year, right? So let's get back out of the closet, guys, and uh, let's do our job again. I, I'm starting to feel good about prepping again. I'm taking a little break from it because I want to get a, my dots uh, going again. And in a few weeks, I'm going to start coming out with more of my prepping style videos. I'm coming at you full prepper, you know, again. Because I enjoy doing it. I love doing it. Right, so get back. I know you guys love doing it too. I don't know. I'm, I'm flipping out here. I'm trying to get people's attention. Start prepping again. Start making videos. You know who you are. All right, let's get back on the boat. Hey, let's roll. Right? <laughs> well, what did Bush said? I, I don't know. Whatever. I don't even know what I'm talking about no more. Because I'm getting excited about prepping again. And I think you guys should too. Get back out there again. Stop. Let's stop. We got to get out of our, our, our shelters now and get back to business. All right, guys, whatever this video, if it makes sense to anybody, right? If you guys see the same thing I'm seeing, let me know. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you feel about prepping today, where we're going, where we're heading, and, uh, and your thoughts on it. Okay, guys, live for today. Prep for tomorrow, and I see you in a couple of weeks with some new stuff. Maybe some old stuff made new again. <laughs> see you later, guys. Walking on